A big story tonight, a local grocery store chain calling customers with a warning. It concerns a growing recall about a popular snack that could make you sick. We wanted to alert you that you may have purchased select Ritz cracker sandwiches. The product may be contaminated with salmonella and if eaten could result in severe illness. Now those calls are going out to Kroger customers in Wisconsin. Rebecca Clough live outside Metro Market as stores are now trying to get the word out. Yes, yeah, Steve and Carol, some of the varieties are Ritz crackers and goldfish crackers that look like these. You guys were a favorite of young people. Got a nice late night snack, I think. Yeah. And youngish. Does my son, who's 27, does eat fish crackers. <laughs> is under a potential salmonella recall. Kroger owned stores like Metro Market and Pick and Save left this voicemail on the phones of loyalty card members. This call is from your Kroger family of stores with an important recall announcement. Other stores, like Sendix, says it posted the recall in store and online. The list includes specific varieties of Ritz crackers, goldfish crackers, Swiss rolls, Kellogg's honey smacks. Those might have been contaminated with salmonella. But how? The USDA says it's whey powder. Uh, whey protein is an ingredient derived from the uh, waste of cheese making. A food scientist at the University of Wisconsin Madison says that powder is a very common ingredient that can be used to change the texture of food. In crackers, it would typically be used to carry in flavors or other high value ingredients that need to be used at low levels. A preschool teacher is concerned by the recalls. All the kids eat goldfish crackers. Susan Sundemeyer says they also eat the Ritz crackers. Kids get them for snacks like every day. For the afternoon snack, yeah. Other families say they will check their pantries. We should probably take a look and see if we have any. Now, so far, no illnesses have been reported. Some of the recalled goldfish come in packages that look like this, but what's so important is that you check both the UPC code and some of these other codes on the packages to see if they match the ones on the recall list. And of course, we have the entire recall list on our website, TMJ4.com. Reporting live in Shorewood, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Okay, very important. Thank you, Rebecca.